Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how we find the number of athletes uh, in Aspen Heises uh, and uh, I will be using this example in order to elaborate uh, how we simulate uh, a shortcut distillation column in Heises. So before I jump into the example, I just want to provide the reference uh, for this. So this example I adopted from example 11.7. Uh, and this is the theoretical solution uh, which is uh, performed and uh, the reference uh, this is adopted from uh, Richardson and Coulson chemical engineering volume 2 particle technology and separation processes fifth edition and example 11.7 .7. so let's go to this uh, example which is workbook 10 in our class so it says that a mixture of the benzene and toluene containing 40 mole percent benzene is to be separated uh, to give a product containing 90 mole percent benzene at the top and a bottom product containing not more than 10 mole percent benzene. The feed enters the column at its boiling point and the vapor leaving the column which is condensed but not cooled provides a reflex uh, and product. It is uh, proposed uh, to operate the unit with a reflex ratio of 3 kmol per kmol product. It is required to find the number of the theoretical plates needed and the position of the entry for the feed. The equilibrium diagram at 100 kN per meter square, which is kilopascal, is shown in the figure below. So this is uh, the figure which was used in the uh, theoretical solutions. And uh, then in the notes it says that you may use entine uh, as fluid package. Take 50 degrees Celsius as a feed temperature and 100 kmol per hour as a feed uh, molar flow which is our basis. So let's go to the hysis. So first is our mixture has the components of the benzene and toluene. So this is our hysis here. I click on uh, component list and I have click on add and then find out uh, our component which are benzene and my second uh, component is toluene and as a fluid package uh, it mentions that uh, I can use uh, entoine as a fluid package So our fluid package here is uh, entine. So Heise is okay with that and now we move into a simulation environment. So in particularly for the number of the plates uh, we will be using a shortcut uh, column. So in the shortcut column if you come to the separators this is where you can find out shortcut column. Just click that and bring that into your solver. And now we double click this and we provide some connections here. So for the inlet, let's say this is my feed stream and in the top uh, one, we have the condenser here. We have the reboiler at the bottom and the top product phase here we will choose as the vapor because we know we have the vapors in the top. and overhead uh, vapor will be my let's say top product condenser duty let's say I say it as a QC reboiler duty let's say I give it a QR and the bottom is the let's say I give them a name of the bottom product so once we have uh, defined our uh, connections we will go to the parameter in the parameter here it is saying that the light key in the bottom. Now we have the two components um, as we looked at our statement we have the benzene and the toluene. So out of these uh, one the light component is the benzene because it has a lower boiling point than the toluene. So I am going back to my high C's here. Now the light uh, key in the bottom that will be my benzene and the heavy key in the distillate it will be my toluene and now we need to provide their mole fractions so let's go here and look at this statement uh, this is my feed composition to give a product uh, containing 90 mole percent of the benzene at the top so this means to say 
my composition of the other component which is toluene that will be my 10 mole percent and uh, in the next statement says that a bottom containing not more than 10 mole percent of benzene so this is uh, my other statement so i will go back to my high cis. so my mole fraction of the light key in the bottom is 10 which is 0 0.10 and heavy key in the displaced is 0 0.10 again the next is uh, we need to look on the condenser and the reboiler pressure if you look on our statement it was saying that uh, it is operating at the equilibrium which is uh, 100 uh, kilo newton per meter square which is basically kilo pascal so my pressure for condenser is 100 uh, kilo pascal my reboiler pressure is 100 kilo pascal and my reflex ratio for this system is uh, 3 here as you can see that the unit operates at 3 kilo mole per kilo mole of product which is our reflex ratio so i go back to here and we have 3 here and now we need to provide uh, the feed uh, properties let's go to the worksheet and the feed temperature which it was mentioning here 50 degrees celsius is the feed temperature and molar flow of the feed which is taken as a basis it is 100 kilo mole per hour so we have 50 degrees celsius and this is my 100 kilo mole per hour and again because it is operating at equilibrium uh, pressure my pressure uh, will be 100 kilo pascal so my pressure value is 100 kilo pascal so we are done uh, with all the input uh, data so now we should be able to get our results here and we need to provide uh, the composition as well i have uh, benzene is uh, 40 percent so my other component which is uh, toluene that uh, will be 60 percent of the toluene so i go to my composition in the feed my benzene is 0 0.4 and my toluene is 0 0.6 and then you press ok here as you can see that i have the green signal from high cis this means my system has been converged so let me show you this is uh, our system here so this is my column this is my top product and this is my bottom product this is the energy required for the reboiler and this is the release of the energy from the condenser so let's uh, look on analysis here uh, so i go to performance and these are the actual number of plates, which was 6.78, which is almost 7 plates. And the feed uh, is entering at 3.7, which is 4th. So the feed is entering at the 4th uh, plate. And total number of, of the plates uh, required are 7. Whereas the minimum number of plates for this system needs to have been 4.65, which is almost 5. So this is my condenser uh, temperature. This is my reboiler pressure. Uh, sorry this is my reboiler temperature and the condenser temperature these are the rectifying vapors uh, stripping uh, vapor and uh, stripping liquid and we have the condenser duty it is uh, releasing the energy that is why it is in negative and the reboiler duty it is uh, requiring that energy so that is why it is in the positive so according to my uh, statement here we need to we were required to find out total number of the theoretical plates so this uh, total number of uh, theoretical plates uh, will be 7 this is our answer here 6.78 which is mean 7 plates and the feed is entering at the fourth plate because it is 3.7 which is the fourth and this was our part 2 the position of the entry of the feed so we have done with this so our result is we are need the seven plates uh, 
for our this distillation system now let's go back and check on what was the original answer so this is uh, my riches and coulson volume 2 this is uh, chapter number 11 and uh, we were doing uh, example 11.7 from this So this is my example that uh, I just uh, did and if I look on its solution it is using two method the first uh, method uh, it is uh, using uh, and as you can see that we have seven uh, number of the plates and uh, this method is the Lewis uh, Sorrel method the book also solved this uh, problem with the McCabe and Thalle method and we can see the answer again for this this is the example 11.8 same uh, example but uh, McCabe and Thalle method if I look at the solution again we have the seven number of the plates and this is what we have from our uh, spin hyacinth now one thing I just want to mention you before I wrap up uh, this tutorial if I go back to my properties and instead of the antoine, if I choose, uh, let's say, pangrobinson, because that is also a suitable uh, package for such kind of the environment, and I go back to my simulation, let's say I say no to this, and as you can see that it has updated my number of the plates based uh, on my fluid package. Now I have 7.87 7 plates, which means almost 8 number of plates. It has increased one plate no one is wrong both of them are correct it's just uh, because i choose a different fluid package for this problem so in terms of uh, pengrobinson i can say that i have eight uh, number of the plates whereas in terms of entwine i have seven number of the plates uh, both of them are correct it's just uh, the different packages and this is why for chemical and process engineers the knowledge of the thermodynamics of the system is very important so I hope uh, this helps and if you have uh, any questions uh, you can uh, email me I will be happy to answer that or you can see me in my office thank you